So I thought I could show you guys how I turn my dressers from this to this. And let me tell you, it makes a big difference. So why I fold my clothes like this is because even though it takes more work to like fold them, you don't always have room or hangers to like hang up all of your stuff and some of the things it's just like obnoxious. Just like hanging up pants and shorts and leggings. When you fold them, I like it because I can see everything that I have. Otherwise, like, don't see, don't know, or what is it? What is the thing? Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so, yeah, out of sight, out of mind. When I can see everything in my drawer, then I am able to pick and choose what I want to wear. Also, it just looks so nice. It zens me. That, you know what? I'm going to own that phrase. It zens me. Fell asleep there. Hello? I heard a pitter patter at the door. It was Snickers. Who else would it be? You have no friends. Hi, how you feeling today? Super. Do you want me to teach you how to fold some clothes? I cannot fold clothes. I am Why a dog. Why are you lifting up that ear? First of all, don't cut me off. Second of Hello? all, what did I just say, you son of a? Da, 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 da. Oh no, not this again. So Snickers, how old are you? I am 13, or 91. Depends who you ask. How have you been today? I was grand, until I stumbled upon this unnecessary interview. Did you enjoy breakfast? No, I've been eating the same meal for 13 years. Can you wave? No, stop, don't do that. I don't make you wave. Snickers, ladies and gentlemen. Enough with the chit chat, I'm gonna show you guys how to fold your clothes. Here are eight types of clothing that you should know how to fold. So first we're gonna start with some tank tops. We're gonna fold it in thirds one way, the other way. You're gonna take the top, pull it down to the bottom, straighten out the straps, and then fold it into thirds. So it's like a cute little rectangle, right? The t-shirts are super similar. They just have sleeves. So folding in thirds one way, fix the ends so there's no wrinkles. Now fold the sleeve over to the side. Repeat the same thing with the other side. Then pull the bottom of the shirt up to the top, leave a little bit of a gap, fold the bottom down to the middle, and finally over a last time. Make sure you fold the top down first so that you can clearly see the picture when it's in your drawer. For this thin sweater, the process is still the same, it's just harder because with longer sleeves, more fabric, there can be more wrinkles. So I don't know how to describe this, but if you can kind of just like zigzag the sleeves to get it to fold so it's all in a rectangle, you do the same thing as I did the last time. Hoodies are my absolute favorite to fold. Start folding thinner rectangles up until you get to the sleeves. Take one sleeve over to make it almost like it's a hug on both sides, and then you fold it in thirds, and then this is the coolest part. You just flip the hoodie inside out, and then it just keeps it all together. <laughs> like that! It's a hoodie pillow, bro! So if you're ever traveling, you can bring a hoodie with you and then make a pillow out of it. But if you want to wear the hoodie, you might need to bring two hoodies. That's all. Next on to pants. So I used to fold these by folding them in half and then into thirds and then they'd stand up. But I learned a new way where you can fold them in half, tuck in that little end, and then you fold it halfway down, pull up the top part of the waistband and just slide the bottom parts in and then it just stays. What? I'm showing you again with a pair of my Nike shorts because it's just cool. Wow. Here I'm showing you two different ways to fold jean shorts. The first is folding them in half and then bringing the bottom almost up to the waistband and finally folding it in half. This next method will help you guys see what kind of shorts they are when they're folded up. So you're going to fold them in half, take the shorts by the waistband and flip it upside down. Fold the bottoms up one third, but then the second fold will go all the way up to the waistband. So once you flip it up, it's like a tab on a filing folder. Here's just one more example with a different pair of jean shorts. Next, my friends, are some jeans. You're gonna start them off, lay them out, fold them in half, bring the ankles up to the waistband, and then, like we always do, fold those babies in thirds. 
These ones are the same thing, but I just make sure not to fold over that waistband so you know what brand it is. And leggings are my favorite thing to fold. They're identical to jeans, but like so simple. So like here I'm showing you how to do all of them because that's how easy they are. It's like I'm on a production line, but with leggings. Okay, okay, real quick. These are the softest, most inexpensive leggings I've ever owned. Go buy them. They have pockets. So here's the finished look of the drawer. My tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. All the leggings are here. We have our hoodie, athletic shorts, our jean shorts, and our jeans. And we have a bunch of room to spare, but you can also see everything. Anyway, that's all for today. Please like this video and comment down below what your favorite color shirt is to wear. I think mine would be like, I don't know, reds or dark greens. I don't know. I just, maybe I feel like being a Christmas tree. Feel free to subscribe. <laughs> feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content and click the bell if you guys would like to be notified when I come out with new videos. Sammy would like to do my closing with me. Wait, no, it is my time to shine. Snickers, Sammy, and I. Have a good day, guys. Bye.